Hey Midwestern Ontario, it's Meredith from your One Midday Show and today I would like to introduce you to somebody very, very important to my life. This right here is my father. There we go, just like that. Uh, this would be him and I when I was probably all of five years old, maybe even four years old. It's up at our cottage in Sable Beach that we had at the time. And uh, that was sort of my father's sanctuary. That was the place where he really became himself. That was also a place where he would drag me fishing and he would drag me boating and he would force me to help him build a fire pit along with my other sisters. And at the time, these things seemed like the worst thing in the whole world to have to spend your weekend building a fire pit with your father. But now I look back and these are some of my favorite memories of him. He was a dreamer. My father was a huge, huge dreamer growing up. He always had these huge plans, these big things that he was going to accomplish. And somehow he always found a way to take my sisters and my mom along with him for the ride. Number of uh, adventures, number of injuries, a lot of laughs came out of a lot of the things. But uh, one of the biggest things he did teach me in life was that you've got to reach for your goals. And you know, you've got to reach for the stars and you've got to do the best that you can possibly do. And that if you set your mind on something, it is possible. And that's something that I continue to carry with me every single day, along with all of these wonderful memories. And hopefully, you also have wonderful memories of your father. And if you're a luckier person than me, you're still making memories with your father. I lost my dad six years ago. I was 19 years old. It was just after his 50th birthday and he passed away from pancreatic cancer. That was the worst summer of my entire life. I can honestly say I went into that summer one person, came out at the end of that summer right into the fall season as an entirely different person. Something like that changes you, makes you a different person uh, than you ever would have been had that not happened to you in your life. And I'm very thankful today to have these memories and to have had those 19 years with my father. Now, if you're a luckier person than me, you still have your father around. And this Sunday, very important day, take 10 minutes out of your life, call your dad and wish him a happy Father's Day because trust me, the day will come when you're no longer able to do so and you're gonna wish that you had nothing more to do for that day than pick up a phone and call your dad. So do it this Sunday, Father's Day. And to everybody out there that is a dad right now, Happy Father's Day. You absolutely rock.